case of 36 year old man who presented with progressive hemiparesis due to compression of the medulla by vertebral artery. This is a far lateral approach with cerebellar retraction showing up origin of uh, posterior inferior cerebellar artery. The pica is traced till its origin uh, at the vertebral artery. You can see the medulla, the vertebral artery is uh, dissected, the, all the arachnoid around pica and vertebral artery is uh, being dissected. And once the vertebral artery is freed from the medulla, then it will be separated from the medulla. A Teflon sling is passed between the vertebral artery and uh, the medulla oblongata and further freeing the medulla from the vertebral artery. Now the Teflon sling is uh, pulled from the other surface of the vertebral artery that is between the vertebral artery and the dura and after encircling the Teflon all around the vertebral artery a stitch is taken to secure the Teflon sing along the vertebral artery. One has to be sure that no perforators are taken in this Teflon sling and the Teflon sling is not compressing the vertebral artery that is narrowing the diameter of the vertebral artery. The axis of uh, Teflon sling is cut. And from the other surface of the lower cranial nerve, that is 11th nerve, stitch is taken on the dura, that is uh, at the basion. And the whole Teflon sling is pulled towards the dura, so that the vertebral artery is separated from the medulla. This after tying the knot and placing the vertebral artery in close opposition to the dura, now the space between the vertebral artery and medulla oblongata has become visible. This is a post-op imaging showing decompressed medulla, now the space between VA and medulla is visible. 